So for this next section, let's go through a few different ways we can create projects and then also link back to various assets that may already exist on our Helix core server. So first and foremost, we're going to go ahead and step into our projects directory and we're going to go up to create project. Now this first one, we'll go ahead and call this demo new because we're going to demonstrate how to create a brand new project and allow Helix core to automatically create everything for us. So if we leave this checked, we can say create. We'll end up with our brand new project. From here, we can then create a new collection. And we can say this one demo new collection. And once we've created our collection, we're now ready to upload assets directly into our Helix Dam system, which will of course be stored in our Helix core server. At this level, if we ever need to make a new collection, we can go ahead and create a new one. And Helix Dam will automatically do all that work on the back end. From this point, if we end up needing another collection within our project, we can always just create one new one here. And that will allow Helix Dam to make all those edits necessary on our Helix Core server to make the new mainline stream and start saving assets in that position. Now, more often than not, if you're new to Helix Dam but not new to Helix Core, you likely have existing streams depots that you need to associate your Helix Dam projects with. And that's the second style of creation. So if we go back to our projects and we'll go ahead and create another project, we'll call this one demo existing. And I'm going to turn off automatically create Helix Core Depot. So with this style of project creation, since we've turned off that automatically create depot button, what this will do is create this project only in the Helix Dam metadata. So there isn't currently an existing Helix Core Depot that has been created by Helix Dam to be associated with this project. And we're free to select one and, and tie into it that way. So the next step from here, as opposed to creating a new collection, is going to be link to streams. And it's going to go ahead and ask us which existing Helix Core Depot would we like to associate and pull the stream from. So here, I have previously have a demo existing Helix Core Depot that wasn't created by Helix Dam. And I can go ahead and select our main line here. And I'll go ahead and name this one Prod. From here, we can go ahead and manage which streams we want to have viewable in Helix Dam. And so here you can see that I do have a few development streams that branch off of this main line. If I want to, I can also turn those on if I need to view those in Helix Dam. And when I click Finish, I've now linked my Helix Dam project to these existing streams. And you can see here I've got my production mainline section, and then I've got my development branches as well as my main and feature dev. I can now step into these associated assets and view them just as if I had let Helix Dam create everything for me. So that's more likely what you'll end up doing if you have an existing Helix core server is associating those pre-existing stream depots and streams to a project within Helix Dam. So that way you can start the review, commenting, and collaborating process.